Hey guys, what is going on? It is a beautiful February day and it is the perfect conditions to get the whole family out on the boat to go diving. The water is crystal clear, it's flat as glass, and it's pretty warm for a February day. We're gonna try to go catch some lobsters, so wish us luck, we'll see you underwater. This is our first spot of the day. It's about 20 feet deep and just Fisher and I are in the water. He noticed at least one lobster under this rock. He dives down and is using a tickle stick to coax the lobster out from under the rock so that I can net it. The lobster comes out and just avoids my net. He shoots backwards towards another rock, but Fisher is able to quickly grab it. If you notice, he lifts up the lobster and looks underneath it to make sure the lobster doesn't have eggs which this one didn't, but if it had, you would need to let it go immediately. It's honestly hard to hold on to. That's a giant. Good job. I almost could it. I almost lost it. Woo! Good job, Mom. That's a big boy. There's another one, in, one. There's another one in there. I thought it was a little smaller, but we'll try it because that one's huge, so. Holy moly. Oh, he's heavy. He's huge. Look at how big his That was good, Bob. This current is so strong. By the time we came up and threw the lobster in the boat, we already like 50 feet from the rock. Oh, current's ripping. We noticed there was a second lobster under this rock, but we were unsure if it looked big enough to keep. Fisher dove down again to take a lap this lobster. It shoots out the side of the rock so fast and heads towards another rock. You can tell Fisher and I can tell it's small because neither of us go after it. All right, that one was really small. One lobster in the boat so far, so I guess no complaints. Fisher did a great job catching that first one. We tickled out the second one, decided it was too small. So now we're gonna move to a new location and hopefully this is a little bit of a shallower area. That first spot was about I don't know, 20 feet deep or so. This next spot will be more like 15. And if we see lobsters there, then I'm gonna anchor the boat and then have everyone get in. At this new spot, Victor and Fisher jump in the water together. This big round rock Fisher is tickling a lobster out from is known as a coral head. This lobster shoots out and it seems like it's never going to stop. Can you see it? Try to keep your eyes on it. Sometimes they blend in with the ocean floor so well that you lose them when they swim away. Lobsters can only swim backwards by rapidly flexing their tail closed. It looks like the lobster came out of the rock because Victor is chasing it down. What are they doing? It went that far? Victor swam, there's Fisher where the rock was and Victor swam all the way over there. The lobster finally quits his Olympic swim trial and Victor is ready to get the job done with one of my handmade Florida lobster nets. Bam! I'm sure Victor is happy after that long swim. That was a long one! This lobster did not want to be caught. He just shot, I don't know, like a hundred yards away from his, where Fisher tickled him out. That was quite the uh, marathon there. That guy yeah, so shot Wait, watch so you. far. You swam far. Wow. Yeah, this was a da a big daddy. Victor just caught this one, which is still a big one, but compared to that one, that one Fisher got was huge. We are back at the same coral head where there is still a couple more lobsters. Fisher is trying to tickle out one of the lobsters and this curious red grouper comes to see what's going on. That red grouper is sick. Yeah. Extremely <laughs> stupid. <laughs> now you'll see Fisher stick his hands under this rock and the lobster shoots out from under the rock but quickly goes back under on the other side. Sometimes we choose to tickle out a lobster and net it and sometimes we decide to just grab them with our hands. In certain situations when a lobster is pinned up against a rock, it makes it easy to just stick your arm in and just grab them, which Victor chooses to do with this one. Thanks for work. If I 
finally gave up. I think he'll be legal. All right, well, they got the other one. It's legal, but we're just gonna, we always make sure in the boat just to do another check. Yeah. It's good, going in the cooler. No, I guess the other two just yeah. messed up my yeah. perception of... The other two were so big that this one just yeah. looked small. guitar fish. I don't know if I've ever seen one before. I guess they aren't very timid considering it doesn't move at all with all of Victor's waves. This is how clear the water is. It's 15 feet deep and Fisher is on the bottom and you can see him. There's a big one in there. A big one? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get in. You guys keep finding. You want to get in? No? Another rock, another time for teamwork. Fisher dives down to tickle out the lobster and Victor follows right behind him to net it. You'll never see my family catching lobsters by themselves. You should always have a dive buddy. Good quality size ones today. I couldn't watch these boys have all the fun, so I jumped back in the water. Within seconds of being in the water, Fisher was already chasing out another lobster from under a rock and I was right there to net it. Oh my gosh. I see at least four, but there's some really small ones, huh Fish? A lot of times you'll spot lobsters without even needing to look under a rock because their antennas will be sticking out as a dead giveaway. Can you spot this one? Fisher just banging his head on a rock and out pops a lobster. He made me work for it, but don't worry, I still got it. Victor is diving down with a tickle stick. And if you want to know where Fisher went, let's rewind a couple minutes back. So here's a coral head where a lobster is hanging out in the top of the rock. Fisher decides he's going to try to stick his arm up there and grab it. And well, I'm not entirely sure what happened, but he swam back up to the surface looking like he hurt his arm. He said he felt a shooting pain in his shoulder and he said it felt like a cramp in his arm. So he jumped back in the boat. Nothing a public sub can't fix. Don't worry, he was fine. So now that you're all caught up, back to Victor with the tickle stick. This rock has at least three lobsters under it, but by the looks of it, they all seem undersized. So we didn't bother catching any of these. A 
On days like today when you're catching a lot of really big lobsters, you start to think that every small one is, well, too small. So sometimes you have to catch one to make sure. This one was indeed too small, so I just let him out of my net and he swam right back down to his rock. We have reinforcements. My brother Jed jumped in to get in on the action as well. This was a pretty small rock, so Jed was going to stick his arm in to grab this lobster. But the lobster had an escape route out the backside, so I chased him down and was able to net it. Sorry, Jed, the next one is yours. Here's Vic and Jed trying to track down another lobster, and Jed sees his opportunity to stick his hands in and get himself on the board. Good job! Got him. Nice! And just like that, Jed finds himself another lobster. Unfortunately, we measured it and it was just a hair too small, so we let him go back to his home. Hey. Hey, And just like that, the water temperature got to me and I was too cold to continue this underwater adventure. We headed back home with some fresh dinner after a perfect day on the water with the family. Well, we are back in the inlet and Gabby has never really drove the boat before and she made it all the way from our diving spot, through the inlet, through the bridge, all by herself. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't she do a good job, Dad? She did a great job on a Sunday with more, you know, there couldn't have been any more boats. She wanted to get up the wheel, and I said, no way, drive through your fear, go through that bridge, and she did great. Yeah, she was like, when we get close to the inlet, you're going to take it from me, right? And I was like, if you want, if you want, but we did, let her do it the whole way, and she did great. All right, guys, so we are back home at the dock. We got Fisher cleaning the boat in the background. Somehow he's the only one out there, but he's doing a great job. I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the lobster nets that we use to catch every single lobster. If you've never heard me talk about this before, I hand make these and I sell them on my website, floridalobsternets.com. You saw us catch almost every single lobster using either the nets or grabbing them with our hands. So Fisher and Victor were both using the tickle stick. I also make these. Um, you can find this on my website, floridalobsternets.com as well. It's clear so that lobsters can't see it. Um, and what you're gonna do is when the lobster is under that rock, they use the tickle stick to tickle the lobster up from underneath the rock. And once the lobster comes out of the rock, um, I was doing it, Victor was doing it when I wasn't in the water, but what you do is you put this behind the tail of the lobster. Lobsters swim backwards. So a lot of times when you put this lob the net behind their tail on the sand, the lobster will shoot backwards into the pocket of the net. So that's what you guys saw happen, how we caught most of the lobsters today. But it's clear so the lobsters can't see it. It's narrow so you can get in between rocks really easily, even good underneath ledges. So if you're interested, floralobsternets.com. I appreciate all the support from everyone who has purchased them. Um, I also have some t-shirts on my website, so I'll have a link in the video description where you guys can check that out. So to clean the lobster, if you guys have seen my videos before, you've heard me say it a bazillion times, always wear gloves. So put one hand on the head, one hand on the tail, and you're gonna twist opposite directions. The tail's gonna rip right off, and then you're going to take the antenna and break off the top part of it. And what you're gonna do is take out the lobster's digestive tract. So the antennas have backwards facing spines that will grab that digestive tract, and that is what you don't want to eat in the lobster. So just get rid of that. 
And now you have a tail that is ready for the kitchen. When you have lobsters this size, there's not a lot of meat in the lobster legs, but you can boil the lobster legs and take out the meat that's inside there. Not a lot, but you can do that. And then you can also boil the heads for a lobster bisque and just to have a seafood stock. So you could definitely save the heads to do that with. So I will see you guys in the kitchen. All right guys, well, I was thinking about cooking tomorrow and everyone was like, no, let's cook tonight. Like everyone decided that we were all gonna do it together. So we're cooking our lobster as fresh as it can be tonight. Gabby suggested having vegetable kebabs. So that's what we're making right now. We got red pepper, yellow pepper, orange pepper, zucchini, mushroom, onion. So we're gonna throw these on the grill once we finish. And then we're gonna just blacken our lobster and put it on top of some pasta. So once we finish these kebabs, we'll get to seasoning the lobster. Look at that beautiful sunset. So in this bowl, we have all nine lobsters. Um, we took them out of the shells and chopped them into small pieces. And this is the result of nine lobsters. So we're gonna go nice and simple with our seasoning and use some black and red fish magic. We'll put that much in and then give this a good stir. We have a half a stick of butter in here and a little olive oil. And we're going in with all of our lobster. That's right, all of it, one time, baby. Ain't no time for separate batches when you're cooking for a big family. We're gonna just do some pasta with, we're going real simple tonight. Just got off the boat and we're doing a simple, delicious, fresh lobster dinner. Creamy basil alfredo, Bertoli. This stuff is delicious. Lobster does not need a long time to cook. As you can see, this stuff is turning white already. Well, it was uh, a nice day out on the boat with the family today. It was gorgeous out, just beautiful. And we caught nine really large lobsters and Brooke made a nice pasta dish with them. So it was a perfect end to a very nice day. The water was crystal clear out there today. Water was a little chilly though, um, but we, Caught a handful of lobsters, and then it just goes to show you, Brooke didn't even put like a ton of thought into the meal. Threw it together, and it was still incredible. The lobster was so tender, just you know, not a single chewy bite. Well done, amazing. Thank you. Yeah, I agree with Chad. The, the lobster is super tender. The way she made it with the black inning it was so fun. I got a little, a little too much sun, mm -hmm. but um, it was a great day on the water. It was perfect. You can't have a nicer day. Like, today was just spectacular. That's why people probably moved to Florida the way they do. It was just amazing weather and great crew. And it's fun to go out with this crew because everyone's, everyone knows what they're doing. No one's like throwing directions around. You just get in the water, you catch the lobsters, you come back, people are cleaning them, washing the boat, cooking, everything gets done. And we probably went out after like, I think it was one o'clock and we managed to catch all these lobsters, clean them, clean the boat, eat, and then it's a pretty good day. Gabby, our captain of the day. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'm glad I didn't kill anyone, <laughs> but um, it was such a beautiful day today, and although I didn't go in the water, it was a lot of fun just watching them, you know, talk and be like, oh, look, there's one down there, and then just, you know, move around and get them. So that was really fun, and then of course the meal is the best part. So good job. 
Thank you. I had a lot of fun. I was pretty reluctant to go in the water because it, this time of year is usually really cold, but I'm glad I did. And um, it's one of those days where you can easily take for granted what we have out here. You see all the people enjoying the water and it was crystal clear and like everyone said, I mean, it's just a picture perfect day. And I know a lot of you guys who watch Brooks videos are from up north and you're shivering up north right now and it's just, I mean, we have it made. So thank you guys for watching. Well, I don't think there's anything else to say. Everyone said it perfectly. It's always great when the weather is perfect and I call everyone up and ask them if they want to go out on the boat and everyone is down to go. We get the whole family out on the boat and to catch dinner just is like the cherry on top to the perfect day. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Oh,